Welcome to Editions, a new series by Sky Sports dedicated to the must-know stories of women in sports. We're on set here today with a British professional boxer and two-weight world champion, Natasha Jonas, who's going to be designing her very own cover shoot, and she's going to do it her way, and you guys get to come along for all of it. I'm going to take you into our special set. I think you can spot a few things that look familiar to you. Oh, I. Boxing is a sport that's typically more regarded as a sport that men do. So how did you get into it and then also break through? Probably because of these two. These are my two older boy cousins who live with us in my nan's house. I've never felt out of place being around boys. Mm -hmm. Football was my first sport, so that's male dominated as well. And, you know, I was a little girl trying to compete with the lads. And yeah. When I stepped into the, the, the boxing gym, it was the same. It was trying to find your place. And as a female, you have to do that a little bit more yeah. to be taken just as respected and taken seriously. seriously. Try and make a pathway yeah, that absolutely. wasn't visible. You didn't know where the pathway was going to go. And a lot of time, yeah. I've lost two jobs because of boxing, um, because of the commitment needed and the time away needed to go to competitions and to train for competitions. And ultimately, I've made them sacrifices because I, I, I thought it was worth it. OK, and then obviously, let's talk about the belt. Uh, so this is the first world title. It was literally last chance saloon. If I didn't win it, it was my third attempt at a third different weight. If I didn't win, there was nowhere else for me to go. So it, the like, pressure, the was, pressure on. was on. Like, if someone would have said, there's a taxi outside, I'd have liked it. It's in the taxi and liked it. <laughs> but thank goodness you didn't. Yeah, I didn't. The Liverpool Southpaw, Miss GB! I want to talk about this picture here, because you've got a couple of belts in your arms. In December of last year, 2022, after the beat, um, Decay, and I finally got the IBF and obviously my parents, my mum came back backstage and got a bit of blood on my top, which was luckily not mine. <laughs> um, I won my third world title that year and that probably sealed the British Boxing Board of Control Fighter of the Year. The first time a female's ever won it. Family is a recurring theme and what's really important to you. Yeah, especially with me being a single parent at the moment. Motherhood as an athlete, what that's even like and how it changes you in what you do. When I was an athlete and I, I, I wasn't a parent, it was just all about the results. Mm -hmm. But now as a mum, obviously I still want to win. It's yeah. important to win. But now when I go home, like, she's, she's not bothered. She just needs me to be mum. So now I can mentally drop Miss GB at the door and open the house door and be mum. And I think that helps me mentally cope. She yeah. puts it, everything into perspective and the results important, but it's not everything. Good luck, mum. If you ask my little girl, who's her favourite football player, she'll tell you Nikita, which is, which is her auntie, which is, which is good. And if you say, if you ask her for the males, then she'll say Mo Salah. But her first point <laughs> of call is her, is her auntie. And my little girl was like, I want to be a footy player like Auntie Kita. Now I love football, so I was like, yes, yes. That's, that's, that's the sport for us. Yeah. That's the kind of legacy them, them girls are leaving. So. But how lucky is your daughter to have not one in you, but two in you and your sister, like female role models that are identifiable to her? I'm just mum to her, so I'm like boring. The only time she ever like gives me any kind of, I've got any kind of clout with her, is when I go into the school with my belt and everybody else is like, hey, oh, mummy, <laughs> and she's like, mummy, mummy, mummy. But apart from that, I'm just dancing. Seven going on 17, you oh, said, right? Yeah. <laughs> in boxing, you've got to be in control of your emotions. So I like, I like to be emotion. I like have the emotion and feel it and experience it and watch the crowd and take that all in. Mm. But then when, when Girls Run the World comes on, boom, it's gone. And yeah. I've got, that's, that's the focus, that's the, this is business. So I just storm into the ring then. What in that moment or who in that moment is the person who keeps you going or the thing that keeps you saying, I want to try to be that winner, as you say? There's loads of people that motivate me. The baby motivates me, definitely. I mean, making me nan proud and me mum proud definitely motivates me. But mostly it comes down to me. Mm -hmm. like, people have this thing of selfish as being like a negative thing, but sport is all about you. Absolutely. It, it, you're the person in it, you're the person doing it, so it's got to be about you. So to be selfless in that is not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, now I want to talk about your kids. How did we end up here? Tell me about it. I've been called Miss GB, that's my boxing name. So we've literally exhausted every avenue of red, white and blue that we could think of. Right. So I said, like, just go wild. Now do whatever you want. and. This is what she came up with, so yeah, this is this is the new kit. How do you find that balance between being 
the beast of a boxer that you are in the ring and then being yourself outside of the ring and, you know, having your own personal style. I think uh, Beyonce best describes it when she says there's Sasha Fierce and then there's Beyonce. So there's even me little girl. Oh, it's girl. not bad, right? Yeah, <laughs> me little girl recognises. has got a kid. There's Miss GB and then there's, you know, Natasha. So the Natasha's a bit more laid back, a bit more loving. But Miss GB is on the wall. She's, she's rough, she's ready, she's, she's... real good. She's... You know, so, so now we're trying to find a balance between Miss GB and Natasha. Pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Is there anything else you would say, looking at this rack so far, that sort of stands out to you as something that you're gravitating towards? Yeah, definitely, like, I love a pastel, I love a blazer. Um, so the certain colours, I think, suit me a bit better. Um, and, that, yeah, I mean, I'm a boxer, so I'm constantly dressed in you know, ready to go with the gym stuff, so... Cozy. Yeah. Having said that, though, I can see a little bit of detail there, so that doesn't mm -hmm. mean... They got Wait, a is that the Miss GB or is that the Natasha? <laughs> this is Natasha, I think, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. So okay. The good news. GB on top and Natasha... Yeah, Natasha yeah. Down low. I actually pulled this blazer. So when you put your hands on it, I was like, yes, love yes. it. We're in the same ballpark. Yes, please do. I thought it'd be nice with the option of a couple of different kind of a, like boxer type bottoms. Yeah, the green. I think the green, right? Yeah, yeah. Layering it up then with a pair of like jorts, essentially, okay. having like a little bit peeping through there. Teaming up with the blazer as well. Looking good. Let's do this. It's definitely me. Wow, look at that. I love it, it looks fantastic. So this is it, blank canvas. A bit like yourself. But we're gonna, we're gonna rock it. Do you feel a little bit out of your elements? A little bit uncomfortable. It's not it's like it's not what I normally do. It's not it's not it's not my um it's not I'm also in my comfort zone. Being in front of 10, 20,000 people in a ring, just me and somebody. That's that's my comfort zone. My first ever trophy. Um, I was I think I was 10. We was a mixed team okay. and we won the, the Liverpool Championships and that was the first time I ever believed I could be a winner. Being a mum should be a barrier, or yeah. you know, being from Liverpool, or being a woman, or whatever. Uh, there's things I want to prove to myself that I can do just because I want to.